distribution of resources. Some other categories of resources are mentioned here. Developed resources. The resources which are actually in use are developed resources. Example, River Sutlej has been tamed. Power projects have been set up on it and electricity is being generated. So, this has become a developed resource. Renewable resources. Such resources get renewed and replenished quickly. Some of these are unlimited and are not affected by human activities such as solar energy. But careless use of some renewable resources like water, soil and forest can affect their stock. Non-renewable resources. Such resources have a limited stock. Once the stocks are exhausted, it may take thousands of years to be renewed or replenished. As this period is more than the average lifespan of human beings, such resources are considered non-renewable. Coal, petroleum and natural gas are some examples of non-renewable resources. Trivia Coal consumption was about 6, 7, 4, 3, 7, 8, 9, 0, 0, 0 short tons in 2006 and this number is expected to increase 48% to 9.98 billion short tons by 2030 despite the ongoing climate change issue. United States is also very dependent on coal. Coal generates around 54% of US total electricity. Actual resources Those resources whose quantity is known are called actual resources. These resources are being used in the present. Petroleum in West Asia and coal in Ruhr region, Germany, are actual resources. Potential resources Potential resources are those whose entire quantity may not be known and they are not being used at present. These resources can be used in future. The level of technology we have at present may not be advanced enough to utilize these resources. The uranium found in Ladakh is an example of potential resource which could be used in future. Winds were a potential resource earlier, but today they are an actual resource as they generate energy using wind turbines. Ubiquitous resources Resources that are found everywhere like the air that we breathe are ubiquitous resources. Localized resources those resources which are found in certain places only are called localized resources. Humans and resources. Sometimes natural substances become resources when their original form has been changed. Iron ore was not a resource until people learned to extract iron from it. People use natural resources to make buildings, bridges, machinery, etc. which are known as human-made resources. Using resources carefully and giving them time to get renewed is called resource conservation. Balancing the need to use resources and also conserve them for the future is called sustainable development. There are many ways of conserving resources. Each person can contribute in resource conservation by reducing consumption, recycling and reusing things. Ultimately, it is going to make a difference.